Welcome back to my magic sparring school and today we will be talking about a topic that you all want to know about, which is of course dodging. Dodging defines the outcome of the match. Simply enough, dodge and you'll win, don't dodge and you'll lose. Today I will be teaching you how to improve your dodging and when to dodge bullets. Beginning with how to dodge, the best way to learn is to join a gang that is currently owning a base. Make sure that there isn't anyone attacking though. What you want to do is get them to recruit you and ask one of its members to help you practice. Here, uh, Wolfie from Arcane was kind enough to help me out. What you want to do is try to dodge the bullets coming from the sides by going across them. Try to find a gap between the bullets and go for it. Make sure that the gap is big enough for you to go through. This will become a natural movement for you. Also, don't go straight up through the gap. Move diagonally in the direction that the bullets are traveling. This will make it so that you don't get hit by the next bullet. Do this a lot and often and you will become very good at it. Just try to follow the directions of the video that I'm putting on the background. As you can see, uh, I am moving opposite to where the bullets are traveling. This would lessen the chances of the bullets hitting me, even though I'm so close to them. After you know how to dodge, you need to learn when to dodge. Simply because you can dodge doesn't mean that you should throw yourself into the bullets. Find a gap, and if you can't find one, then don't go for it. Wait for the right moment to do it. Keep track on the gun that your opponent is using, because different guns have different spreads. The more spread that your enemy's gun has, the farther away you should be from him. The farther away that you are, is the easier it is to see the spread pattern of the bullet, and the easier it will be for you to know what to do. Also, if you're just practicing with your friend, make sure that they have a gun that doesn't have a lot of spread and that it's not too fast, so that it will be easier for you to like find gaps and go through them. If the gun that they're using is very spready and very spammy, all this is going to do is frustrate you when it should be helping you out. As you will see on the background now, I ask Wolfie to spam the AK without moving. This is because if he's not moving, then the bullets have a more straight pattern and I can find the gaps easier. As you can see here, even though he's shooting kind of fast, I find it kind of easier for me to just like weave through the bullets. This is like, it's like riding a wave. Once you're in it, you know exactly what to do. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Just grab a teammate and tell them to help you to learn how to dodge, to practice how to dodge. And you will eventually become a very good dodger. That's basically it for the video and I just want to thank Wolfie that helped me out with this because this is impossible without a partner. I always try to find someone that is willing to help you. That'll be it for the video and I really hope that it helps you out and I'll see you in the next one.